So whenever I say extract single instance, that means it is looking up a field which is typically multi-instance. So I am extracting one single instance from that. Isn't it based on my criteria? Like this one age of the eldest, dependent of a worker. Typically, a worker may have multiple dependents. I am only looking for one particular instance of that particular dependent. Correct. So typically, this field is going to be a multi-instance. I only want to extract one single instance of that particular multi-instance object. Right. So let's see how we create that. So let's remind ourselves about how the data look like. I think we created a report in which we had that dependent information. Let me see if we can find it. RD. Come on. RDWWW. Let's see what are the reports. Base pay details. Was it base pay? Here we have. Ah, we have the dependent's age right. We have the dependent's name and the age. Perfect. Okay. So let's run this report one more time. Custom report. Wrath. We have a filter. Oh, we changed the filter anyway later. That is fine. Let's click on OK. I don't think we will get good data with this. Let's see if we have some data. All right, we don't have any good data with this. You see here, in a lot of the cases, the dependent's name and age are all empty. Right. But we are still getting that information because I think we removed the filter in some manner. Where we are no longer looking at the dependent. Let me go for 0101 to 2000 till 1231 to 2000. Right. Let's look at this information. This one should have a lot of good workers with a lot of dependents. Okay. So you look at this worker, Logan McNeil. Right, Logan McNeil has how many dependents? Three. Right, Anna, Megan, and Pat. Who are more than 10 years old? Right. So here we have Matt Schneider. He has three dependents. Gabrielle and Nadia and Stefan. And this is their age. Individual ages. Now can I filter on the basis of dependent's age? Can I filter on the basis of that? Is it possible? No. Why not? Because they are in the subfilter. Right. They are in the subfilter. Like, that's why I cannot do anything. I mean, I can put it in the subfilter. 
yes, but not in the main filter. So if I want to have, let's say, Anna's name or maybe not Anna, let's say Pat McNeil's name or maybe Pablo's name, in the main business object, in the primary business object, so that I can, so that I am able to filter on their names or maybe on their ages. Then what should I do? I need to bring them over from the related business object to the main business object, and for that I have to use the calculation, that is, extract single instance, and then use an LRV on top of it. Okay. So now let's quickly create a calculated field, that is, an extract, single instance. First is ESI, then we will use the ESI to extract the related value. Okay, so create calculated field. Okay. And there we will give the name CFWWESI right. Eldest dependent. This is what we are going to calculate. What is the business object? Is it worker or dependent? What is the business object? It will be the dependent. Are we storing the calculated field? The dependent business object already has this information. Right. I do not want it there. I want this information. I want to bring over this information from the dependent to the worker business object. Isn't it? So where should I store my new calculated field? Then in the worker. Worker write. It is already this information. The eldest dependent information is already present in the dependent business object. Write. I want to bring it over to the worker business so that I am able to do a filter and so on. Write. That is why I need to store this calculated field in the worker business object. Okay. And what is my function? Function is ESI. Right, if you search with ESI, you will be able to find it. Extract single instance. Okay. Now here. What is my source field? The source field is dependence. Right, it is a multi-instance field. I have to always choose a multi-instance field. And you see, automatically it says what is the related business object. Did you see? It automatically picked up the related business object. Correct. Now, I just don't want all the dependents. I want to pick up one particular dependent. Extract single instance. I want a single instance of this object. So what should be my condition? First, let's go for all. All dependents. It is true. So if dependent is present, yes. Is true meaning that returns a boolean true value. It won't deliver. It is always equal to true. So that means, if the dependent is true, then you are going to sort. Sort on the basis of what? We said age. Are you kidding me? Right. Age. Yes, Shweta.
Shweta, do you want to say something? No. Okay. Yeah, maybe it was unmuted by mistake. No problem. Okay, so we are sorting the dependents using the age. And then you have two options. You can sort ascending smallest to largest. Or you can sort descending largest to smallest. And then, depending on the sort, you can also select the first occurrence, the last occurrence or any specific occurrence. So what are we looking for? We're looking for the eldest. So should we be ascending? Should we be sorting ascending or descending? Which one do you think is easier? The ascending and last occurrence. Okay, it is not good for performance. Try to avoid it ascending and last should be avoided. Sorting and last occurrence is not the recommended approach. It is still there because in some cases, you might require it. But most of the cases, you should go for descending sort. First occurrence. That is again, it links to performance. So if I click on, OK. So you are looking at all your dependents. Right. All your dependents. And you are sorting on the basis of the age. What if, instead of eldest dependent, I asked you, eldest child? Or eldest dependent child? Then what would you have done? I have added one more criteria now. I don't want spouses or parents or partners or something. I only want the age of the eldest dependent child. You want me to do this? Right. You want me to create this calculated field? Okay, let's take up this challenge then. So what can we change here? In this calculated field, what can we change to get the eldest child? Let me edit this. Right. As of now, what is the condition? It says it's true. Right. That means, if there is a dependent, sort it. Sort descending and get the first occurrence. So now we have no way to distinguish between a spouse versus a child. Right. So what if we only filter in the condition, we only filter the children? Isn't it, then that would make, that would work. 